so today we would be doing the question the best time to buy and sell stock this question has been asked in companies like facebook and amazon so basically what the question says is you have uh, we we want to maximize the profit by choosing a single day to buy one stock and choosing a different day in future to sell that stock and we return to return the maximum profit you can achieve from this transaction if you cannot achieve any profit we would return zero so what my i would be putting up two approaches so the first approach would be like this uh, we would be declaring a variable minimum and we would be initializing it with uh, a very big value or you can say integer dot min value uh, max value and then we would be iterating it uh, the, throughout the array and we would be getting the length and we would be seeing the uh, uh, seeing if the minimum length is uh, less the is less is the minimum length between the minimum variable and the prices of the array and then we would be counting the profit and then we would getting the max value not a problem if you don't get it right now i would just code it up here in which int minimum equals to i would just take a, any big value you can even take it as integer min dot value, uh, max value and i would put up an integer int max equals to 0 and i would put int profit equals to 0 and for int i would be iterating throughout the array i is less than prices dot length i plus plus and the minimum value would be between math dot min and it would be min and prices i and the profit would be prices i minus min and the max value would be math dot max between max and profit and we would be returning max so what we are basically doing we are iterating throughout the array and we are seeing the minimum value is between minimum and prices i so if we see this we would go out throughout the array we would see 7 and we would compare it with this and we would see 7 is the minimum value the profit would be prices minus uh, minimum so minimum would be 7 and prices would be 7 so for now it would be 0 but at that next time it would be 1 and then it would go on and every time the profit uh, would be uh, then compared with the maximum value we have so maximum value would be between 0 and uh, and it would be between 0 and the profit so if it is below zero definitely we don't we are not in profit we are in loss so it would uh, definitely not be below zero so we won't be considering it that is why we have put up zero here uh, in the base cases and then we would be compu computing the profit from here so the we would be buying on day two that is one and we would be selling it on day five because on day five it is six so we would be going here and on day two we would be buying it then we would be selling it on day uh, at day f yeah at day five at six so at day two it was uh, one so the prices here uh, the profit here would be six minus one equals to five that is the reason the minimum would always be one because we all already had one when the second very second uh, element of the array i deleted through here so i would be running the code here and I guess it would pass all the cases yeah and I would sub be submitting it it's faster than 66 percent ca uh, cases and solutions and using less than 51 percent of memory okay now I would be going through the uh, through another way you can call it as memo memorization because we would storing be some memory so it would be int profit equals to zero and int minimum i would be okay putting up that not a big value but an integer dot max value yeah and for int i equals to zero i is less than prices dot length and i plus plus so yeah so if prices are less than minimum we, we are doing the same thing here prices are less than minimum then we would be, we would be putting minimum is equals to prices 
and if yeah if uh, and in the second case we would be seeing before uh, before that we would be declaring a variable current and current would be acting like that if prices i minus minimum yeah so we would be seeing the what is the current uh, profit that is current profit is prices i minus and then we would be putting if current is less than if current is greater than prior profit that was zero here then profit would be equals to current and then we would simply be returning profit and we would run the code oh, okay i just did yeah it was a yeah i would run the code now and i guess it should pass the cases yeah and i would submit it so yeah yeah it has passed it is faster than 66% so yeah this was these were the two cases i have got so it was quite clear that i would show you one another case i have i submitted here it was i guess the same case i have submitted so as you can see depending on the time every time you submit it can be 1 ms sometime can be 2 ms sometime so not a big deal if it is 1 ms you are at 100% faster so this solution is almost 100% faster than all the solutions available so in this we are iterating throughout there checking if the minimum price is less than the uh, price which at which we are at currently of array and then replacing it with the uh, current price and then we are declaring a variable current checking that how much profit is currently happening with us and then going down if the current profit is less than the profit we had before then we would put profit is equals to current and we would return the profit so uh, this is how this question can be solved very easily yeah, it's a very nice question when coming to gre uh, dynamic programming greedy approach something like that and in big companies like amazon and facebook it has been asked so thank you so much guys thank you and have a nice day